your uh, marine knowledge channel this is your uh, sailor basha so today's video is related to purifier earlier video i had uh, shown you how to renew friction pad so in this video i would like to show you so how to remove uh, friction boss so please watch this uh, video carefully do not miss uh, any of the portion do not fast forward let's go inside the video so this is the condition of the friction boss that we are going to renew you can see the slot are totally damaged and this is the reason uh, we are going to remove this uh, friction boss and uh, renew with uh, other one so this uh, friction boss is secured with a uh, allen key so before uh, attempting to remove this friction boss we have to open the allen key which is a securing bolt for this friction boss so use the allen key and uh, always ensure to spray some wd40 before uh, you attempt to remove the allen key and please use proper size of allen key if you are using improper size it may damage your allen key and it will be a problem for you to open it and this is the condition of the friction clutch or friction pad because of the damaged friction boss so we renew this also and this is the condition of the friction pulley you can see inside is a lot of powder because of this uh, damaged uh, friction clutch so okay uh, now we are uh, removing this uh, friction boss so we removed the allen key so you can see the difference between the new and the used one you see the slot of uh, friction clutch is very narrow and you can see the condition of the old one it is totally damaged so always use a proper uh, pulley uh, pulley for uh, removing this uh, friction boss uh, now we are installing the pulley for uh, removing this uh, friction boss and as i said earlier you have to ensure it is properly sprayed with the wd40 so it came out easily so luckily we don't have to use this puller if it gets stuck definitely we have to use the puller to remove it and this is a key and we have to remove the key okay we use a small uh, screw driver to remove the key and again uh, properly you have to remove the key without uh, damaging the key portion if it is damaged you have to do a little memory paper for uh, regaining the surface back okay so sometime what happens is uh, this key get stuck in the key way so it will be little bit hard to remove it during that time you just spray wd40 and leave it for some one or two minutes then uh, this wd40 will penetrate inside the area and it will uh, de-rust whatever catching the key so again uh, we are going to try it we try to open it and uh, it is not a big thing uh, to remove a key but it takes little uh, patience you need that's all just hold the shaft and hit it uh, from the bottom surface of your uh, key then it will come by itself so always use a spanner proper spanner to remove it okay that's all it's already out key is out okay so now we are going to install a new friction boss so before installing a new friction boss just uh, apply a coat of uh, grease so that the friction boss can easily go inside the shaft as i said earlier you have to just uh, polish the key since we used a spanner uh, our uh, screw driver to remove it just uh, remove all those metal furs that's all so the key will go inside the slot easily so apply again a coat of uh, lube oil lube oil or grease over the shaft 
and in the keyway also so that uh, the key will uh, go properly inside the slot so this is how we have to install the keyway for the shaft keyway slot you can see the marking of that locking bolts huh? the round marking is your locking bolt where it get uh, place okay so now the key is in place so next uh, we need to do is we have to fix the friction boss always check the key should be face to face with the shaft it should not be protruded outside okay now we are going to install the new friction boss just match with the key and insert the friction boss since we use the grease the friction boss will go inside the shaft easily a little tap should be enough so that uh, will give you a thrust it will go inside the shaft whenever uh, you are hitting the boss you just keep wooden piece for uh, hitting the friction boss so that you don't damage the boss you don't uh, damage the metal area so okay we are done we are uh, pushing the friction boss inside the shaft and uh, all you need to see is you have to ensure the entire keyway is covered and uh, it should be face to face with the shaft that is all you have to check and it confirms that your uh, friction boss is exactly in place you can see here uh, yeah you can see it is exactly face to face and little tap should be okay yeah little tap was given and see it is exactly face to face and this is how you can check whether our friction boss is fixed properly or not and do not forget to fix the bolt locking bolt it's a allen bolt lock it tightly again as i said earlier always use proper uh, allen key when you are uh, tightening or loosening if you use improper tool you will damage the head of allen key uh, allen bolt and uh, it will be really very painful to remove uh, allen bolt if you are not having proper tool or uh, damaged head of allen bolts so we tightened it we are tighten it fully okay our job is done now we are going to fit the new friction clutch or friction pad so for this purifier uh, maker is recommended maker recommends to fit four numbers so we use uh, four numbers last time i showed you how to fix this uh, friction clutch by using a rubber band this time i show the other way you can use the teflon tape you can use the teflon tape just uh, surround it like uh, coil it with the teflon tape and that's all it will not fall when you are uh, going to fit the motor along with the boss with the clutch area and this is how you have to coil it with your uh, teflon tape this 4 5 coil should be okay that's all very easy this is the other method uh, instead of using rubber bands you can use this teflon tape also uh i believe uh, after watching this video you must have all got some idea about uh, how to remove and uh, refit a new friction uh, friction boss so if you have any comment please post in comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching guys keep supporting bye